Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Innal hamdalillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udzu billahi min syururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina may yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa may yudlil fala hadiya lahu. Asyhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la syarika lahu wa asyhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. Dear brothers and sisters It is very important for us to know whether we, being a Muslim or being human, have the right to get angry. And how should we control our anger when we get angry? Now, based on the teaching of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, the companion one asked the Prophet to remind him, to advise him of something that can benefit him. That can make him a better person. So the Prophet Sallallahu just remind him, La taqdab, la taqdab, la taqdab. Don't get angry. Don't get angry. Don't get angry. Three times. He asked the Prophet three times and the answer is the same. Don't get angry. Now what do we understand by this saying of the Prophet to this special companion? that you should not get angry. Do the saying of the Prophet means that we have no right to get angry. Maybe some people say, you are not supposed to get angry. But the Prophet said, don't be angry. Don't be angry. So if you are angry, that means you are not following the advice of the Prophet. Yes, there is one hadith talking about don't get angry. Meaning, You are not supposed to get angry for nothing. Small, small thing, you get angry. You know, minor, minor issues, you get angry. Something that you dislike and people are doing, you get angry. Now, everybody have their own liking and also they have their own disliking. And so you cannot just get angry because you dislike something. But you can get angry because anger is part of Iman. The Prophet ﷺ did say, Man ahabba lillah wa abghada lillah in other hadith, Man ahabba lillah wa abghada lillah wa a'ta lillah wa ma'na lillah faqad istakmal al-Iman in Sahih Muslim. The Prophet ﷺ did mention early, don't get angry, don't get angry, don't get angry. But now there's another hadith in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet said, You must love for the sake of Allah and be angry or hate for the sake of Allah. Give for the sake of Allah and withhold for the sake of Allah. Indeed, you have a sound iman. Now, in the second hadith, now the Prophet said, you can love uh, for the right cause, love what Allah loves, and you have the right to be angry. Meaning, If you get angry of something that is wrong, angry of somebody doing something displeasing Allah, something haram, something that is bad not only for other people, also bad for themselves, you have the right to be angry. At least you show your, your, your body language that I don't like what you are doing. Example, if people are doing something so bad, taking drug or even smoking shisha or secret and they don't care about how other feet they just blow the smoke here, here and there and dirty littered you know here and there they throw their secret butts here and there of course you should show your anger show your dislike no, I don't like what you are doing it's not good for you to smoke smoking is bad smoking kill you have the right to be angry but for the right cause not just simple simple matter thing that you don't lie sometimes and then there are people who like and it's not haram at all it's not wrong according to Islam so now it is important for us to have the right understanding whether you can get angry or not yes you can get angry for the right cause but you are not supposed to get angry for just little little thing they have nothing to do with displeasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah. So just example, sometimes at home, maybe the children is crying. You can't just get angry because they are crying their children. What can you do? You must find a way how to stop them from crying. 
Look into what they really need that you can stop them from crying. Now, if you get angry because of that, then it's not healthy for you and it's not helping the family and also the children. How can you blame the children from crying? Maybe they are hungry, maybe they are not well. So you must have a lot of patience handling all these issues. The same go to if there's some kind of discussion with uh, your family, your wife, that she's asking you things that she's not sure of. He, she wants to know something from you. And you don't have to get angry unnecessarily. Just try to explain to her, make her understand what she wants to understand. Make her clear about things that she's not clear of. Thing that is unclear, that he's doubtful about what you are doing, just just explain to to her properly, and inshallah, you you will solve a lot of problem. But you cannot get angry unnecessarily because your wife have right upon you. She have right to ask you thing if she have any doubts. No, it's just an example. Example if your wife is is suspicious about your communication with somebody through your phone, through your SMS then you have no right to get angry. You have the right to make sure that she don't have the wrong idea about what is going on. If she is suspicious, you must overcome her suspicion by showing her. Check, no problem. She want to check. No problem. Let her check. There's nothing to hide if you're not doing the wrong thing. But when you are angry, you stop her, you shout at her, scream at her. It's like you're hiding something. And that kind of anger is un-Islamic. It's not right. How you manage your anger? The Prophet did show us when a person is angry for unnecessary thing, he just have to sit down. If the anger is still there, lie down. If the anger is still there, he have to take an ablution and pray to Rukhan. Saratu wudu at least. So by performing the prayer, it bring you out from the issues that you are thinking of that make you angry. Now we are more focused in remembering Allah. We hope that by doing the Turaqa prayer, it will really help you to cool down. That's how you manage your anger. Or you can immediately, when you have the anger, quickly ask Allah for forgiveness. Because this kind of anger, for the not, for, not for the right reason, is un-Islamic and it's not allowed. So you can say, Astaghfirullah Azim. Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, ask Allah to forgive you, to help you. Inshallah, brother and sister, we believe. Inshallah, if we do what Allah and the Prophet want us to do, we get angry for the right reason, you got reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you follow the way of the Prophet, how to control your anger and manage your anger, you also will be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, can get angry for the right reason, if somebody is doing something against Allah, displacing Allah against the Sunnah and going against the teaching of the Prophet of course, we have the right to be angry. Example, last example, if a child is raising their voice in front of the parent, we have the right to be angry. How can you raise your voice in front of your parent? Who are you talking to? You have the right to be angry. Yeah, but if they are okay, they talk nicely, even they disagree with the parent, but they discuss in a good manner, you have no right to say, why do you disagree? You must try to be open and try to understand what is in their mind, why they disagree, because we can disagree when something that is not uh, relating to halal and haram. Yeah? So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the right understanding and make us people who get angry for the right reason and also learn how to control and manage your anger for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Both sides will be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us. May Allah guide us. And once again, brother and sister, can we get angry? Our answer is yes, for the right cause, the right reason. Not just for a minor thing, for things that have nothing to do with halal and haram or displeasing Allah and the Prophet sallallahu May Allah bless us. May Allah guide us. Wa bilai tawfiqi wal aqli da'wana. Walhamdulillah bil alameen. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha ila anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.